There are frequently asked questions about treasury bills investments. I'm sure you have had a treasury bills, treasury bills, treasury bills. So the question is, what is it about treasury bills? So in this video, this will be the pattern. I want to answer some of the frequently asked questions about treasury bills. It, this is just a pattern, just like I said, I don't want to make it too long. So watch out for the part two, watch out for the part three. And I'll also be talking about how I'll be bringing practical guides, step-by-step -step guide on how to invest in treasury bills. So I will not just tell you what, but I'll tell you how and the practical steps. So let's go into it. Number one, what is treasury bills? What is treasury bills? Treasury bills simply means government issuing short-term debt instruments to the public in order to finance their projects. Short-term debt instruments issued by the federal government in order to finance their projects. Which means, more or less like simply in a layman language, which means the government wants to borrow money from you. They want you to lend them money in order for them to finance their projects. And in return, they give you an interest. It is called, we call it at a discounted rate. We are going to get there, so don't worry, don't be in a hurry. So that is the first, that is what treasury bills means. So what is number two? Number two is, do state governments issue treasury bills? No. So anybody that tells you that Lagos State Government or, Cal or River State Government wants to issue treasury bills, know that it is a lie. Treasury bills is only issued by the federal government of a nation. So it is a no answer. Number three, how safe is treasury bills? How safe it is? Treasury bills is almost 100% safe, 99% safe. Nothing is 100% safe. So let's just say it is 99% safe. Because for treasury bills to fail, it means the government, it means the economy of the nation has, is already failing or has failed. Because for treasury bills to fail, government would rather print money. And we have seen it in the past regime when they had to print money. It may not be obvious, it may not be apparent to the public, but those who are inside will know that for them to meet up with this obligation, something needed to be done. They would rather print money in order to, to fulfill that obligation. So, it is safe. It is one of the safest investments because it is backed up by the full faith of the government, of the federal government. So I hope you understand that. So it's one of the safest. You are looking for a safe place to put your money, then you may consider treasury bills. Number four, what is the difference between treasury bills and government bond? What is the difference? The major difference between treasury bills and government bond is... Treasury bills is short term because it is issued in three categories 91 days, 182 days, and 364 days. It is short term, it is not more than a year. So you can invest your money for three months, you can invest your money for six months, which is 181 days, 182 days, I meant to say, then we have 364, 364 days. Why FGM bond is usually longer? than one year. It's usually longer than one year. The current one that I know that the government is issuing now through the Debt Management Office is two to three years. Two to three years. So that's a major difference between Treasury bills and FGM bonds. There are other differences. For instance, the Treasury bills is issued through the state, through the CBN. The why government bond is issued through the Debt Management Office. So many differences. Maybe I will make a, a different video for us on that subsequently so let's look at number five what is number five number five is where can i buy treasury bills where can i buy treasury bills we have two types of markets where you can buy treasury bills number one is the primary market number two is the secondary market the primary market the minimum you can buy in the primary market is nothing less than 50 million naira. the minimum you can buy from the primary market and it is directly from the central bank they usually have it fortnightly, every two weeks. They usually come out with that offer. So the minimum you can buy in that market is 50 million. Naira. While the other market, which is the secondary market, where you can buy as low as 100,000 Naira. You can invest as low as 100,000 Naira. You just need, is it that you go through all these apps that are online, or you go through the stock broker that you are confident with. For instance, Stambik IBTC, as 
their own stock, they have their own asset management firm. First Bank also has their own asset management firm. They have their own stock broker firm. So you can approach, you can use that route. UBA too has their own. So you can go through that route. And one thing is that, one beautiful thing about it in this time and day is that you don't even need to visit the bank. You can do it online. And just like I, as I have said that, I will not just tell you what. I will show you how. So just stay tuned to this channel and follow us as we go ahead. I'll be talking about how you can open an account and invest in treasury bills. For instance, before you can invest in treasury bills, you need an account called CSCS account. Don't worry, we'll still get there in subsequent videos. So thank you so much. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly do by clicking on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we release a new video. And if this video has helped you, kindly give it a like. So till we meet in our next video, stay blessed.